Hey everyone, this is April. And this is Natalia. And this is Ryder. And this is Miles. And today we're getting on to show you a little quick video on what you can do if, like us, you last minute decide to get a little furry friend and you can't find any clothes that fit them. So we went ahead and we made these adorable little things out of socks that we had laying around from last Christmas sale that we got. And of course, they're not gonna be very durable because we did try to sew them and at least for the stitch we had in our sewing machine, it didn't work really well. We did try the serger as well and it was just making it kind of too roughly. But it'll work when you just need something warm and cozy before you can get to the store or go buy some on Amazon or like us, we're gonna try to figure out how to crochet and make them. But here we go. Let's show you real fast how to do it. All right, so it's really simple. I do have two different kinds. This one I grabbed the other night at the dollar store. Like I said, this longer one, I actually, as you can see, got two out of them for the little guys. Just depends how big your little friend is. We're gonna see if we can do it with them playing at the same time, we'll see how it goes. So I wanted to do the cute little guy here. So I made sure that I'm cutting right there so I have enough. Yep, he wants to come help me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut right here. And of course you wanna make sure you have some good scissors to cut with. We tried with our cheaper scissors the other night and it didn't go so well for us. And we did, I, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we did try to sew this and with our sewing machine, it just didn't work too well because I didn't have the right, I don't know if I didn't have the right thread or what, and I'm not a master seamstress at all. Natalia was trying to show me and trying to be patient with her poor mom. <laughs> so went ahead and cut that, just have it like that. And then I want a little rim right here left on this one like I have on that little guy. Oh, they're so playful. <laughs> they took a nap and now they're just ready to play. And then we want this to be facing forward on the back. So we're gonna flip it over and we have to remember where our little guy's arms are gonna be farther out over here. So we're just gonna take it and pinch it. And then over here, we're gonna take it and pinch it again. And then depending how long these ones do kind of stretch a little bit, so that's probably good for how ours is. You can always widen the hole and all that good stuff, but it really is that simple. This one is not gonna be as tight around the neck because it doesn't have like this one where it has that cute little kind of sweater look, so. Then I'll show you, you're just gonna do the same thing on this one. Cut that little heel part off. And then this one, it doesn't really matter. You can just decide what part you want to be the top and then flip it over. And again, do the same with the holes on the side here. Another hole, pinch, and then cut kind of an oblong. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then also I'm gonna mention, so this would be perfect if you had a little girl, cause it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so there's always tons of adventures with puppies as you can see. So then we're just going to go ahead. You can do it however you want. I just kind of make mine like this into an oval. You can do it a little higher up if you'd like, but there you go. You got a little cute little sweater. Like I say, if you want to, you can go ahead and you could hem this by hand if you wanted so that it would last longer or if you are more adept at sewing than I am and have the right uh, stuff for your sewing machine and the right needle, then that would be great. That way they'd last longer. That is an easy, simple way to make a cute little sweater for your Christmas photos for your little guy. And of course, nowadays we have all sorts of stuff on Amazon and things that you can do as well. We're gonna try, like I said, to do a little one, one time for crocheting. But thank you so much for joining us and our crazy little guys. Have a great day. Thanks so much and we'll catch you later when we're just so bored again, we make another video.